I'm going to ask that we all bow our heads. I'm going to ask that we all bow our heads in prayer. Every head bowed and every eye closed. Every eye closed. For many thousands of people here today, this will be an hour of decision. decision. And you will never be the same today. Even if you refuse Christ, you'll never be the same. The same. Once you faced him, once you heard the gospel and rejected, rejected it, you can never be the same. It says when the rich young ruler rejected Christ, he turned away grieved, emotionally disturbed. disturbed. Because when you reject the claims of Christ, Christ that's a very serious thing. thing. It will be an hour of decision for many of you who receive him today. Your life will never be the same. Your home will never be the same. So let's listen carefully and prayerfully today and reverently, reverently to the message of the word of God. God, shall we pray? Our Father, we thank thee for this love of God. Love of God that reaches around the world and engulfs all of mankind. Thou dost love the Russians and the Chinese as much as thou dost love the British or the Americans or the Africans. Thou dost love the whole world. Thou dost send thy son to die for the whole world. And we're all included in thy redemption plan. And we thank thee that at this hour of history we can stand and proclaim good news that God is love and that God is willing to forgive. We pray that many this day will receive that message, accept it and act on it and live by it. For we ask it in his name. Amen. Amen. We've been having a marvelous time here in Chicago. I think Cliff has already told you how big this building is. There's no indoor arena in the world except the Astrodome in Houston, Texas that's bigger than this. Bigger than this. Here today, thousands of people just about fill the capacity today, as it has been almost every night during this crusade, except I think the opening night. But we've had gigantic crowds that have come here to this great arena night after night. And we've seen thousands of people coming forward to make their commitment to Christ. Christ. Now today, I want you to turn with me to Luke's Gospel, the 11th chapter. The 11th, the 11th chapter, chapter of Luke's of Luke. Gospel, beginning with verse 29. Beginning with verse 29. I hope you have your Bible. How many have a Bible today? Lift them up. Look at the Bibles. Thousands of Bibles everywhere. Now the 29th chapter, or oh, the 11th chapter and the 29th verse of Luke's Gospel. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, this is an evil generation. They seek a sign. And there shall no sign be given it but the sign of Jonah the prophet. For as Jonah was a sign unto Nineveh, to Nineveh, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them. For she came from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And behold, a greater than Jonah is here. Now ancient Israel wanted Jesus to do something sensational to prove that he was really the Son of God. But Jesus is saying in this passage, you're seeking for a sign. All right, I'll give you a sign. I am the sign.